Good morning. Good morning. Day one of Wellness Wisdom, seven days of Wellness Wisdom. Ready to give you your first pearl. Um, I'm going to wait just a couple of seconds for a couple of more people to join with me. Oh my. While I'm waiting, I just came from my um, yoga class, so I'm feeling real wonderful right now. Take some drinking juice. Just wait just a couple of more seconds. So we'll go ahead and get started because after I finish on Facebook Live, I'm hopping on over the Periscope. And of course, if you don't join me live, you can always catch the replay later. So that was such a wonderful yoga class. I need some more juice, fresh juice. This is one of my wellness wisdom pearls of the day, fresh green juice release refreshment, special formulation that I made up. Delicious. So if you're catching this on the replay, I am Dr. Michelle. I am founder and visionary of Free Life 7, a life and wellness enhancing company. And so my purpose and what I do through my company is give you tools and strategies to help you awaken your physician within, getting to the root cause of dis-ease and disharmony. I do that through um, foundation of new customized nutritional protocols, workshops, retreats, and customized herbal formulations, as well as mind-body connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and um, other people will join in later. So today kicks off the inaugural seven days of wellness wisdom for seven days straight. You can tune in at 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, 12.30 Eastern Standard Time, and of course that would be 9.30 PST. To get your pearl for the day, I am coming from the seven dimensions of wellness, which are physical, emotional, spiritual, social, occupational, intellectual and environmental so today our first pearl with the seven dimensions of wellness we're going to touch on physical so today's pearl is pumpkin so as we approach the fall season and fall officially begins september 22nd with the fall equinox and on that particular day daylight and um, night are exactly equal significant of balance. So anytime that we are eating or um, doing very physical activities or getting together with our families, whatever it is that you're doing, you should flow with the natural order of the seasons and be in unison and synergistic with earth. So pumpkin is a food that is coming into season. A lot of people only use pumpkin just to decorate for Halloween or even for Thanksgiving, fall harvest, that type of thing. But it's really packed with a lot of nutrients. So for today's um, physical, the, for the seven dimensions of wellness, the physical dimension, we're talking about pumpkin. That's your pearl for today. And pumpkin is really high in potassium. Now, a lot of people, when they're trying to boost up their potassium, their go-to is bananas. But one cup of pumpkin equates to 564 units of potassium, whereas one banana is only 422. There are so many other foods that are higher in potassium than bananas. The other thing that makes 
potassium is so important for people who have high blood pressure, if you're wanting to decrease your amount of medication or if you are in the uh, borderline hypertensive and you have spoken to your primary care physician about trying to incorporate some lifestyle changes in order to alleviate the, the hypertension, then potassium is very important. There's something called the DASH diet and it focuses on intaking a certain amount of potassium per day because it's not just enough to lower your sodium but also to increase your potassium. They work synergistically on, this, on the cellular level. Another area that um, pumpkin is really good for is fiber. It contains a lot of fiber. So if you are trying to lose weight or just have better digestive health, then you always have to increase the amount of fiber that you're taking in. When you take in more fiber, then it gives you a feeling of fullness sooner, so therefore you won't eat as much. You know, that's a big problem in America is gluttony. We just eat too much. It's ridiculous. So pumpkin is also good for vitamin C, which we know is important for the immune system. And to tie it in with releasing stress, the more vitamin C that you intake, especially if it's natural vitamin C. Oh, my, um, my connection was low. I'm back though. But the more vitamin C that you take in, then the more it um, mitigates high cortisol spikes. Cortisol is your stress hormone. So if you don't want to use pumpkin and you're on the go, pumpkin seeds are really great but before I move on to pumpkin seeds some ways that you can use pumpkin you can make a net a nice soup it would especially be nice if you pair it with root vegetables such as sweet potato carrots maybe even throw some turnips in there you can also do fresh pumpkin pie I know people who have prepared it properly pumpkin pie can almost really taste like sweet potato but I think you really need to know what you're doing so I would suggest that if you know some good elder person that is really good at sweet potatoes knows how to mix that spice just right get with them and you can substitute pumpkin also pumpkin bread and as opposed to using white sugar you could use um, honey, you can use medjool dates, soak them, and they give a nice sweetness and it's a lot um, better for you than using the processed white sugar. But moving on to pumpkin seeds are really good. If you want to mix them with other nuts, um, have a little Ziploc container that you put in your bag and you can snack on at work. Pumpkin seeds are really good. They're high in zinc which is very important for the immune system. As the temperatures start to drop and we're inside more, people who are sick, then it's a lot easier for us to um, pick up their germs. So you wanna have your immune system really strong. People are gonna be having their flu shots pretty soon, but just because you have a flu shot doesn't mean that you won't get the flu because that virus replicates and changes so rapidly that the flu shot is for one strain but you can still catch another strain but you can um, you can prevent that by having your immune system be really strong another thing that pumpkin seeds are really good for are menopausal symptoms okay so if you're experiencing a lot of hot flashes headaches joint pain then pumpkin seeds can help mitigate that as well as pumpkin seeds help increase um, hdl the good cholesterol they've done studies out of the um, national institute of health and that they had really great results with that and then the last thing that pumpkin seeds are really good for is there um, a good source of tryptophan? Now, a lot of people think of tryptophan and turkey, and they say that's why you fall asleep after um, a big meal during Thanksgiving, which is partially true, but a lot of times during Thanksgiving, people are just stuffing themselves too much, and the body can't do anything but just lay you down so it can start processing and digesting that food. But 
pumpkin seeds are good for tryptophan, so it can help bring on um, sleep and also elevate your mood because they help contribute to the production of serotonin, which is the feel-good hormone, as well as melatonin, which is the hormone for sleep. So that's your wellness wisdom pearl for today, pumpkin. Once again, I am Dr. Michelle, founder and visionary of Free Life 7, a life and wellness enhancing company, giving you tools and strategies to awaken your physician within, helping you to release stress, get to the root cause of disharmony, and recharge your vibrancy and vitality for life. So if you want more information, go to my website, www.freelife.com the number seven le.com so check back in tomorrow for um, pearl number two our second day of our seven days of wellness wisdom journey and tomorrow's dimension of wellness that we will be discuss- discussing will be environmental so just to keep that in mind so until tomorrow have a positive day and be well